Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching my previous video about my life, my 10 years in Finland. Um, it's crazy that over 10,000 people watch it, so thank you so much. I didn't think that it would be so interesting for many people and uh, actually it's quite weird. I was thinking that maybe more people that uh, are not living in Finland that uh, would like to move to Finland would watch it, but most of the visualization come from Finland. So a lot of Fini Finnish people watching it. So kiitos paljon. Um, as I promised, uh, I'm going to, to do this video answering your, uh, your question, questions in the comments. And again, sorry for my accent, uh, but this is what it is. Um, so I'm going to YouTube and uh, see what you wrote. And uh, I think that there is something interesting. It's been a while I was supposed to do this video <sighs> last spring, but uh, then life happened and there is never enough time and uh, a lot of gigs, uh, interviews, uh, festival uh, and uh, normal job life and normal life at home because you know at home you should do your chores so but now here i am so let's start um, so the first uh, uh, comment uh, and with question is uh, from uh, uh, sorry i'm not able to read your name maybe correctly tula kirk maybe kirk well you let me know why I pronounce it. Um, and you wrote, I'm glad you fulfilled your dreams of living in Finland and to be physiotherapist. And you are living metal dream when you are doing interviews and taking pictures of show. And metal pizza is part of your dreams. I think Finland fits the happiest country. Living in Finland must be very interesting. I will try to think of some question. Can you tell us more stories from metal shows? What was the best festival a concert in Finland where you have been to and in other countries? Have you visited some interesting places in nature in Finland? I'm not sure how to describe it. Some interesting forest or hills. There must be beautiful nature. What animals are there? Have you ever feel this, that some places are somehow magical? You said you are a dreamer. Dreaming is great. Have you written any story? Are salmiaki good? I never had them. So many questions. Um, thank you for uh, for your comment uh, and um, uh, stories from metal shows maybe i should do a, a video just about uh, that <laughs> uh, i can tell you that um, people that play metal music uh, most of them are really humble and very interesting people and uh, you know metalettes are the best <laughs> and uh, best festival and concert in Finland. That's a hard one because I have seen so many great uh, bands. Um, I will say as best festival, maybe I'm going with not fest. Um, it was amazing to have uh, the the press pass to get there, doing interviews and uh, taking photos. Uh, so yeah, it was, you know, I interviewed uh, Thomas Olopainen from Nightwish. So for me, it was a, a big thing uh, because Nightwish is one of those bands that, uh, that got me into metal music and into Finland also. So that was a big honor for me and um, yeah, I will say that maybe not fast, but you know, I have seen in those years a lot of uh, smaller bands and uh, I actually am going to do a video about uh, bands that you may not know you should check out. Um, I will say that um, Vanguardian, a band from Huvascula, very good, it, it was amazing such a great energy on the stage. Uh, then uh, Surut, 
uh, Suru is amazing. Uh, they are from Tampere and uh, again, the energy on the stage, it, like it's crazy. Uh, the guitar player jumping uh, in the middle of, of of the people and the playing and ah great um, then I will say also split iris amazing amazing the, the the debut album that came out two months ago go and check it out amazing amazing but so many so it's difficult to just choose one also because uh, nowadays. Um, you know, I'm going to the show to take photos and uh, I'm not enjoying the show as uh, when I was just attending the gig. Uh, it's it's a different thing, but yeah, there are bands that, uh, w you know, I noticed that when I like the show, I tend to take more photos. If I get bored, I don't take that many photos. So I think that uh, this is a good uh, meter to calculate uh, how good a show is for me. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um, um, in another country, so, uh, well, best gig in another country, be best gig that, that I attend, uh, for sure it was Rammstein in Ljubljana in 2000. 12 maybe I, I i can't remember when it was um i remember that i went there we we were uh, with a bus from trieste to Ljubljana, so it's less than two hours and um yeah I, I had my super zoom back then with me and i didn't know i cannot get my camera with me inside um then me and other two my friends we all had this not professional camera but semi-professional we can say I, I don't i don't know how would you put this camera on but um yeah we went there and then they were you cannot take the camera and then also there is any place where we can leave the camera for the show no you have to put in the car but we were with the bus and the bus driver, we call the bus driver, the, bu the bus driver, the bus driver went for a walk in the center of Ljubljana. So he was like, I can come, but it will take a while. And then we were waiting, uh, but at some point uh, uh, a car came and it was a friend of one of my friends and uh, they kindly let put our cameras in their car and um, then we were able to get to the to the gig and um, i don't know how but i got in the first row <laughs> because there, there were also some ladies that uh, that saw me and i'm, I'm very short and uh, so they let me go on it's not always that easy because not not everybody are kind um, you know i'm short i can see nothing if someone told this in front of me so yeah that's also a problem when i take picture at shows uh, because if there is no photo pit then can be tricky if there are a lot of people uh, in particular drunk people so i have to be careful that they are not hurting my camera because if they 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 hurt my camera i'm going to hurt them so <laughs> No, that, I, I, I'm not that bad, but yeah. Um, let's see, the other question was um, some interesting nat places in nature in Finland. Uh, in Finland there are a lot of um, forests uh, and uh, lakes, uh, a lot of beautiful places. Uh, there are a lot of places that I would like to see. Uh, I have never been in Lapa Lapland, so for sure I want to go there. Um, I would like to go to see Imatra, but uh, I have seen the at least a part of the uh, Saima Lake, and um, yeah, it's beautiful. And you know, there is beauty in every in every part of uh, of Finland when where there is nature. More nature you find, the more magical it is. Um, I, I don't know, the, 
you know, I live in Ulvila. I have a, um, a forest five minutes of walking from here. Uh, and uh, I was supposed to go and pick blueberries, but then I was lazy. So <laughs> I'm going later when it's colder, when I know that the wasp are not around anymore, even if this year there were no many wasps. I'm scared of wasp. That's, and I'm scared to walk on a, a wasp nest. So yeah, I'm now they are going to die in a while. <laughs> and um, so th then I will be free to walk in the forest without uh, stressing about those. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, th th there are so many places. I would say that, uh, for example, in Pori, Uteri, the beach, uh, it's, it's so beautiful. So I suggest you to, if you are visiting Finland, also to visit Uteri, why not? Uh, but there are so many places uh, that I cannot st stay here to live. But Tampere is my favorite city in Finland, for example, and uh, there is beautiful nature there. And also the city is interesting, is uh, uh, dynamic, active. So, yeah, I should I do a video about just places in Finland that I should suggest. Let me know. Let me know what do you want me to do. Um, and the Salmiakki. Uh, Salmiakki is interesting. Is it good? Oh uh, yeah. Is it my favorite? No. Um, but uh, yeah, you should try. Absolutely. And uh, I mean, I like the Salmiak Salmiakki pastil, uh, but um, I don't like uh, any any kind of ice creams uh, or dessert with salmiakki. Um, salmiakki kosu, so the drink the alcoholic shot, is something that yeah I can do. Again, not my favorite, but I'm picky. I'm very picky when it comes to drinks. So yeah, maybe maybe. I, when it's the candies, yeah, I'm up for that. Uh, but it's not something that I eat daily. Uh, there was some uh, Sisu pastil uh, that was my favorite. Uh, and uh, I can't remember what was the, the taste, but it's not available anymore. So it's been a while since last time I had that. But everybody told me that that was a, a candy that old people used to, to eat. <laughs> but I'm I'm a granny because I like all those um, candies that are supposed to be for older people. And that's also a, about Italian candy. So, yeah, weird one. But thank you. So let's get to the next question. Um, let's see. Well, uh, my friend Denise told me that she's proud of me, so thank you. Uh, then there is some lovely uh, emoticons. Um, then I'm forward look. Thank you for an interesting story. So happy that you have been able to fulfill your dream and also learn Finnish so well. Uh, you seem to have a kind heart. Good luck with everything and God bless. Thank you so much. Um, then there is Holo Holo Pine and uh, 1627. Have you heard of the song called Olen Suomalainen? It is an Italian song called Il Solo Italiano by Toto, Caritapio. It's not by Finnish as Toto, it's by Italians. Um, so, yes, there is also other, other, other question coming. So, yes, I know Olen Suomalainen. And Ole Suomalainen is uh, l'italiano by Toto Cotugno. And uh, it's, it's fun because, uh, yeah, l'italiano is a classic in Italy. And, um, but it's not um, feel that strong as Ole Suomalainen for the Finnish people. As for the Finnish people, uh, Ole Suomalainen is something that every, everything, 
sing with proud when it comes to l'italiano it's it's a bit different when it comes from the from the lyrics uh, but i must say that few times i uh, sang it in karaoke with uh, my friend and uh, she s- sang the the version of version of caritapio and uh, at the same time i'm singing the one in italian <gasps> Uh, so, so it's uh, yeah a few time we we did it uh, so it's i think it's nice i i i love to hear the those old italian classic in finnish uh, sometimes uh, some new came to my ear wait isn't this <laughs> so th- there are many there are many for example uh, i queen and i then is actually Maledetta, uh, Maledetta Primavera, uh, so, but there are many more. <laughs> Maybe I should do a reaction of those. I, d- I don't know. Let me know. Should this be a video? I don't know. Um, then there is another from the same, same comment. Um, Have you been to Reposari, where a famous Hollywood movie, White Nice, with uh, Isabella Rossellini was filmed? Familia Rossellini is very well known in Finland too. So I have been in Reposari, of course, lovely place. I didn't know about this Hollywood movie and I didn't know that uh, the Rossellini's family is very well known in Finland. So thank you for letting me know. I should check this, uh, this movie at some point. Uh, so let me see because then I I actually answer you with a comment and then maybe you ask me something else. Okay, it was just more information about the the movie uh, then Tero uh, Kungas so beautiful you are I hope that you have a nice life in here so uh, thank you so much um, then there is a uh, Tarja Tuhkanen uh, 7094 a true Italians loves a true Italian loves good food I am a Finn and I really like the lunch and dinner times used in the most of European countries, not the ones we have here. Yes, agree about her home cooked food lacking taste or soul and love. It's meal, just wond- wonderful music. It's metal, just wonderful music that can lead to adventures. Okay, sorry for <laughs> reading metal as meal, but <laughs> my mind was on the on the food things. Um, I mean, uh, uh, there is nothing wrong in the in the time where lunch and dinner are in Finland. I think that dinner is better to be earlier if you are going to sleep than around nine, ten, so you have the time to digest it. Um, but uh, th- there is not a lack of taste uh, or soul or love in the food. It's just different. Uh, but it's a cultural thing. If you think what uh, what we had in the past, uh, nowadays in the in the store you can find everything. So it's not a problem anymore. But of course the the food that you in the past that you, you had in finland or italy is so different uh, in finland during the winter you cannot grow much actually <laughs> so you have to relate on uh, potatoes and uh, the basic thing uh, meat uh, and yeah but there is nothing nothing wrong in that uh, and um, i i love uh, Finnish food. Uh, I love food. <laughs> I love food, so it's not a big deal. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just different. Uh, 
I maybe I'm just now used to it as Finnish time. But yeah, I would say that I don't like to eat dinner too late. At nine o'clock in the evening is not something that I'm up to. Um, but at eight I can still eat even if it, it depends. Uh, you know to what time I'm going to sleep I'm going to some places or whatever so yeah it's 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 about the day timetable most mostly um, then there is a okay let's see if I can read this name pterodactylus 548 first do you drink coffee as much as much as we do? No, <laughs> I don't. I don't like coffee. Uh, that it's uh, quite a fun thing. Uh, thinking that I come from Trieste, that is consider considered the capital of coffee. Um, with uh, uh, Napoli also, they, they are the two city where the co the coffee in Italy is uh, the the extra thing uh, in it uh, in Trieste if you go to order a coffee you should know what their name is because in Trieste the names of the coffees uh, are different from the one that people know so um, be careful <laughs> you are not getting what you are ordering because the name is different so I don't like coffee uh, Trieste is the city of Hilly, Hausbrand, for example, so yeah, not my thing at all. So you can drink my coffee, I'm a tea person, absolutely, tea all the life, without milk, without honey, without sugar, water and tea, but not all tea. <laughs> I, I told you I'm picky. Um, then there is also, what would you do if you had the opportunity to meet Nightwish, Nightwish Tuo, Tuomas, Flor and the other members? I'm a fan, but write in English because it is easier to copy paste to Google. Well, greeting, greetings, one of Nightwish Army. So yeah, as I answered you uh, that I, I met Tuomas and Kai and... Uh, I did this interview for the offering magazine that you can find uh, on, on my channel. Uh, it was during a um, not fest uh, and uh, I was nervous. I was very nervous because yeah, it's not something that happened every day. And uh, they both were so kind and uh, the interview went well. Um, it's I think it's one of the, it's one of them not the most watched on YouTube because the is the one with uh, Alexi Laio uh, that is one of the last video interviews uh, on on the internet with him uh, but yeah I was nervous it was nice uh, but you know I was watching the because uh, when you do interviews in particular at big bigger festivals and with big bands you usually have uh, like uh, 15 minutes time so you have to set everything and interview so when you set everything there is two minutes that went away and then you have to do the interview and uh, watch the, the what time it is and uh, so how many time I still have to ask this and that so you have to be to to be clever in what you are going to ask and I like to go with impro improvisation nowadays um, there is uh, a lot that an artist can say um, I think that Thomas say a lot of beautiful things in that interview so uh, I hope you watch it uh, and um, yeah, and then uh, we add a few more comments uh, exchange here. Uh, and you ask something else. Uh, I saw you meeting an interview with Thomas and Kai, pro musician are so calm and straight. Not 
not like hype and on drugs they don't use beside alcohol which is the basic scene of ours uh, ever seen a finnish man drunk after the years i think you have of course i have but i have been uh, you know in italy also i have seen so many <laughs> people drunk um, so it's not just a finnish thing uh, maybe it's different that most of uh, uh, Finnish people, when they get drunk, they start to be more social <laughs> and they start to talk a lot. <laughs> that maybe at night when you, you are like ending the night, you are not that happy to listen anymore. But yeah, at some point, if they are very drunk, they are going to shut down and you just need to be sure that everyone gets home safe more or less but yeah i'm myself i'm not a drinker i mean i like to drink my beer i like to drink my um, strawberry margaritas and uh, drinks like that uh, i'm quite picky and i'm very slow when it comes to drink alcohol uh, i don't like the idea to be drunk i I don't know then you you feel sick why why do you want to throw up and so on but I it's not not my thing but uh, I don't have a problem with people being drunk they can be fun <laughs> they can be annoying also uh, but you know you can find annoying people that are sober so <laughs> it's uh, yeah it's not a uh, problem for me um, everybody then needs to to take care of themselves and know how much to drink and uh, when it's time to stop so if they take care of themselves everything is fine um, then there is a uh, my norby 206 thanks for sharing you are amazing well, Thank you. <laughs> it's, you know, it's uh, so uplifting uh, reading those comments because I, you know, I, I don't think I'm any kind of special, amazing, beautiful or things like this. I'm just me. And uh, it's, it's fun that someone wrote things like this. Uh, so thank you so much. It's uplifting. And uh, then there is a... Uh, Meiseli seta vt kadeksan pese that ask with a <laughs> with a laughing crying laughing emo emoticon uh, asat vai lukko <laughs> for for who doesn't know asa is the okay team from pori and lukko is the the okay team from rauma and they are both uh, city in Satakunta, actually with the new road is just 30 minutes um, driving more or less and uh, so there is so, so such a strong competition between the two cities for some historical things like everywhere like also I'm for example I'm from Trieste and there is such a um, competition and uh, friction with uh, Udine and that is the other city so i i understand the situation between apori and rauma because i have been living all my life in that <laughs> but uh, yeah um, i know nothing about hockey so that, that's something that i i'm not into i have never been at any um, game maybe i should go one day um i i don't know i mean to other sports so that's that's maybe the thing so of course being here i have to say asset um but i know that now people from rauma and fan, fans of luco are going to hate me anteeksi se on vähän pakko Hei, asun melkein Porissa ja 
on töissä Porissa, on kyllä töissäkin Eurajoella, niin no mä voin sanoa assat lukko, sama juttu, no oikeasti en kiinnosta kumpi. Te voitte valitse ihan vapaasti. Uh, tender is uh, KAL puhelin 2816. Uh, myös Suomessa voidaan pitää arku auki autajaisissa aluksi, mutta se on arvinaista. Suomessa on paljon erilaisia tapoja, ei aina täysin sama kaava. Grazie, era un video molto interessante. Kiitos kommentista. En tiennyt, että arku voi olla aukikin Suomessa. Uh, mut, joo, toi oli se mielenkiintoinen erilainen juttu. Uh, autajaiset ovat jotain, joka ei, 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 ei mun lempi juttuja, mutta no, vaalilla on pakko mennä. Then we have... Uh, Joni Harkonen, 1460. Uh, that Kuopion peltoselta saa kaupungin tuulisimpia pizzoja, jos tykkää. Nouto pizza pyörön kääri. Uh, en, en asu Kuopiossa, mutta jos joskus mä oon, mä, mä oon siellä, ehkä voisin mennä kokeilemaan tää tuulinen pizza. Mä tykkä tuulisista. Niin. So he was uh, writing about um, the, the most uh, hot pizza in Kuopio. Uh, I don't live in Kuopio, but if I'm going there, maybe I should try this uh, hot pizza. I like uh, spicy food, you know, hot hot sauces and things like this. Actually, <laughs> I have a story for you. I was uh, in Trieste last month. And, um, well, I was sick, I had flu or whatever it was, but <laughs> I had uh, probably the, the most hot sauce in uh, an hamburger ever. And I was crying eating, but it was very good. But it was the first time that I cried <laughs> eating some, some hot food, some spicy food. Yeah. Then we have uh, Wolf McIver. Sei una delle persone più determinate e coraggiose che io abbia mai conosciuto. Hai tutta la mia stima. Grazie, Wolf. Un strucon. So Wolf is a friend of mine from Trieste. He's uh, an amazing person. I have to buy the book that he wrote. Uh, he also produced some interesting wine i'm not into wine but uh, yeah if you ever go to some celtic festival in uh, in italy uh, he may be there uh, and you can uh, taste the wine the those different kind of wine uh, then we have prome uh, aliens 9659 Uh, I'm surprised how Pium Paum Vipula Vapula song in Italy works in a different context. It is sung by an Italian Finnish woman. It was also a surprise how Italian cities in Finland use the Italian uh, written form, with some exception. Laco di Pudas is one of my favorite commercials. So, yeah, Pium Paum. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it, it became a kind of it at some point in Italy and it was uh, sung by Anna Falchi that uh, she is uh, from uh, Roma, from Rome, uh, but her mother is from Tampere and uh, you know I think that people have this idea that the Finnish women looks the Finnish women look like Um, Anna Falki, so she's the blonde, the blue eyes, small nose, you know, and very beautiful. But uh, I think that many would be surprised to see that, the, as in every part of the world, women are very different uh, from each other. They are not all the same. They are not all blonde with small nose, blue eyes, and, you know, <laughs> we are all different, and it's a uh, 
in every country so that's that's interesting and yeah um, as, as in Finland uh, in Italy the, the city are uh, written and pronounced in the same in the same way but, but it's also about the um, the, the words in general so, so uh, Lacco di put, Pudas uh, as commercial I I think that I have never seen that maybe I should check it out but it's something new for me then there was this uh, uh, Celeron 5.5 uh, five, five, uh, that wrote tuo on kyllä oikeasti pöhliä juttua Suomessa miten joka ruokaa luotaan laita kerma uh, but and then there was other Finnish people that uh, that continu- continues to to write comments about this um it's about the cream in food uh, that in finland uh, actually is a thing there are a lot of people that if they don't have the cream in the food for them it's it's not complete uh, not everybody is using cream not in every food in finland uh, the cream is food but in a lot niin, että on, on kyllä, että ei, siis en mä sano, että Suomessa ihmiset laittavat kermaa joka, 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 joka puolella, mutta on aika paljon ruokaa, missä kerma on sisällä. Siis, en tiedä, en tiedä, en tiedä. Ainakin itse on huomannut pinattikeito. Siellä on kerma, mutta ei valtamatta tarvitse, tai jauelia keitto. Ei, ei, ei tarvitse laita kerma sinne mun mielestä. Voi teitä myös vähän erilaiseksi. En mä sano, että on huono, se on hyvä. Siis totta kai kerma on hyvä, mutta se on vähän rankempi. Eiks niin? So then, uh, there is again, was this person commenting before well, whatever uh holo holo uh, 1627 um, finland has been voted as the happiest nation in the world for the seven years in a row a swedish team and youtube came all the way over to find out um, what is behind behind all this and yes theory investigating i don't share their methods but they are from the nation of alfred nobel so they have their own scales uh, this is quite funny to see some random sweets in Finland to go sound and make all this take place. Worth a watch and have a share some fun. Cheers to Alfred Nobel. Yeah, I I actually have seen uh, some some short uh, video from from I think from from the this documentary or whatever it is. Uh, so yeah, actually I like to sometimes watch you know ranger people come to finland and try to find out why it is the happiest country in the world um and uh, there is a lot of controversial see for example italian hate to hear that uh, finland for them not that they hate but uh, when the news come out that finland is the happiest country in the world uh, they are it's impossible people are killing themselves there more more than any country that is not true so check your your statistic (laughs) and uh, i don't know why people are triggered so much about hearing that the country is the happiest um also the you know the word uh, happiness uh, it's a bit tricky because uh, you cannot measure happiness but uh, you can uh, measure satisfaction so it should be the m- the s- most satisfied nation in the world and uh, i don't know i'm happy in finland so <laughs> Uh, of course i'm i will say yeah it is and i i feel part of it and yeah, life it's not easy for anyone uh, you are your up and up and downs but what it's it's just life and uh, if 
things works, then everything is more easy, isn't it? Then there is a Pulla Paroni 4874. Mukava kuulla tarina asia ja tervetuloa Suomen näin jälkikäteen. Todella hyvin olet oppinut Suomea ja näemme myös kulttuuria ja tapojakin. Olet rohkeampi kuin minä, koska itse en ole rohjennut mutta muun maan, vaikka olen asiasta nuorempa uusin aveiltukin. Ave, no, tiedätkö, ei ole ikinä liian myöhään. Jos joskus haluaa kokeilla, sä voi muuttaa jossakin muualla. Se on semmoinen kokemus, joka jos tulee vastaan se mahdollisuus, kannattaa, kat, kannattaa ottaa vastaan. Se on... No, kyllä pitää olla rohkea, koska kun sä muutta, kaikki muuttuu. Ja sun perhe on, on se, sitten toisen puolen, tai ei toisen puolella maailma. Kolme, no mulla on perhe kolme tuntia <laughs> matka lentoke, lentokoneelta. Helsingistä, jos puhutaan, koska sitten on koko matka Porista tai Ulvilasta, että ottaa koko päivä sitten on aika ranka. <laughs> Mutta kuitenkin, ähm, se on jotain, joka kannattaisi kokeilla kerran, kerran elämässä, jos on mahdollista. Tietysti ei kaikki alua, mutta ja ei tarvitsekaan, mutta joo, joo. Ei ole, liian, ei ole ikinä liian myöhään. Et jos sulla on ikinä ollut semmoinen idea, sä voisi silti kokeilla jossain kohta. Then we have uh, runkariruune. <laughs> And uh, let's see. The... Mikä vi... <laughs> Mikä vi... Beep. Teitä po... Teitä porilaisia vaiva. Vitsi vitsi. Siskoni valitsi hieman samalai, samalaisen elämänuuran ja muutti Helsingistä porin. Kiitos paljon tarina, tarinastasi. <lacht> niin, mikä, mikä vaiva porilaisilla on? Niin, se, se on, <lacht> se on semmoinen kysymys, joka kun mä polje, mä varilla mietin. Siis, nyt voisiko joku kertoa, miksi Porissa ihmiset eivät osaa ajaa? Siis oikeasti. Ihan sama mitä ne ajaa. Polkopyörä, auto tai mitä vaan. Ei ne osa. Siis, jos mä näytän keskäri. Joo, mut, muutama kerta mä oon näyttänyt keskäri. Vähän ennenpä kuin muutama kerta. Joku kerta mä aloitin myös tappelemaan keskellä suojatie. Mä olin, no mä kertoin tästä. Uh, mä aina, mä oon aina varovainen, koska en mä luotta ketään. No, mä oon italialainen ja siellä ihmiset ajavat paino. Babe. <laughs> niin. Mutta Mikkolassa on semmoinen kohta, missä on se kolmio tarkoitettu niille, jotka ovat polkemassa. Että ne pitäisi vaistaa autoa. Mitä mä teen? Mä hyppän polkopyörältä pois ja sitten mä tallun taas ja mä yritän mennä. Ja siellä joku kerta yksi nainen, se löyti tettämään mua, kun mä olin siellä menossa ja sitten se ei uusi, että sun pitää vaistaa ja mä oon, mä oon kaavelia nyt. Sun pitää vaista ja Anna pisti viedä se ikkuna auki ja uusi, että mun pitää vaista, että mitä mä teen. Ja mä uusi vasten ja sitten mä muistan, että toisen puolelta tiellä oli yksi vanhempi nainen, joka odotti poikopyörän kanssa ja katsoi vaan. Ja sitten mä vielä katsoin tämän nainen, kun, kun mä menin pois sieltä ja mä sanoin, Mis, mistä nämä pellet saa jo korti? Kindermuunasta vai mistä? <laughs> no nainen katsoi mua vaan niin kysymysmerki päässä. <laughs> Mutta ja sitten mä olin kiukunen koko matka ja koko matka mä vähän kiroilin. 
sitten mä pääsin teissä ja siellä mun asiakas odotti mua ja sitten mä vielä siellä kertoin, mitä oli tapahtunut ja mä olin kiukunen. Siis en mä ikinä huutanut kenellekään, paitsi tietysti mun veli ja mun sisko, mutta se on eri, eri juttu. <laughs> Et, siis ihan uskomaton. Ihan uskomaton. No, jos joku voi kertoa, miksi Porissa ei kuka osaa ja oli siis semmoinen kiva. Mutta mennään eteenpäin. Traf 1986. And bel, bella storia, bel video de, da Campierisi. Actually, he's a friend of mine. We were at school together between 11 and 14. And then he asked other thing. Uh, se volessi trasferirmi definitivamente a 38 anni, ho possibilità lavorando nella san sanità? Uh, ok, I was checking if there is other, other question. And, yeah, I'm answering in Italian and then in English about this, because I think that the people can be interested in this. Uh, allora, in Finlandia non è mai troppo tardi per, per cambiare vita perché in Italia a 25 anni sei già vecchio in Finlandia a 38 anni sei giovane ma anche a 60 puoi andare a studiare per esempio e cambiare attività cioè non... l'età non, non, non ti pregiudica un posto di lavoro um... Lavorare nella sanità in Finlandia sì è possibile e c'è richiesta uh, soprattutto per personale tipo OS, infermieri, però per fare l'infermiere uh, devi, devi farti riconoscere il titolo di studio da Valvira e anche saper la lingua perché appunto devi, devi comunicare coi, con, con i pazienti. E quindi sì, però c'è la possibilità magari di intraprendere una carriera lavorativa come OS, magari nelle case di riposo per esempio, e, e da lì poi diventare infermiere far, facendosi riconoscere i titoli di studio e così via. Uh, ci sono tante persone che vengono da altri paesi per uh, appunto lavorare come os e, e qualcuno poi decide di, uh, di andare a studiare altre cose e, insomma da cosa nasce cosa so back to english um, so my friend uh, ask, ask about uh, is it possible for for a person that is uh, 38 years old uh, to move uh, and work in the healthcare uh, and yes it is uh, actually uh, in finland you are never too old because in italy when you are 25 yeah you are old at 30 yeah you cannot find any job pretty much or maybe i'm too extreme but that's what i hear so and um, but in finland uh, you are never too old to change You can go to study at 60, it's, it's not a big issue, so... And um, in the healthcare, yes, there is, mm, there is need. There is need to, uh, to I don't know, it's in English, laihoitaja and uh, nurses. And uh, so, but of course, if you are an, uh, a nurse in another country, I want to move to Finland, Uh, and want to work as a nurse, you should uh, contact Valvira uh, to get uh, your uh, your license valid also in Finland. And then uh, you should also uh, learn Finnish and professional words because you need to communicate with people in the healthcare system. If you don't know the language, it can be tricky. Uh, your opportunity to get a job are smaller. Maybe in the capital area is more easy. I don't know, but uh, you know, if uh, I, I would like that uh, the person that, that take me in charge is able to communicate in Finnish. Um, 
because I speak Finnish. Uh, of course, I speak English, but uh, when it comes to health, uh, I would prefer to to speak Finnish if the person doesn't speak Italian. <laughs> but I don't know. Am I able to talk about my health in Italian? I, I don't know because it's, you know, I, I talk always in Finnish. So uh, maybe my vocabulary is not the strong anymore in Italian. I don't, I don't know. It's quite interesting. Yeah, isn't it? But yeah, those were the questions uh, that you left me. So thank you so much for those questions. And uh, let me know if I want that I do video uh, about a certain argument. Um, and uh, if you are into metal music, uh, remember to subscribe and check out my interviews and my metal pizza video. Uh, this summer I have been a bit busy with festival and so, so there are not many episodes of metal pizza, but uh, one is coming soon. And uh, yeah, stay tuned and subscribe if you want. And I will do other videos, videos about my life in Finland, maybe, if you want. If not, well, whatever. <laughs> but thank you so much. <laughs>